To enter your actual service hours, click MRC. To see the totals and details for a month, click the plus sign. You can see each person, the percentage of individual cost, the individual cost amount, and the daily billing unit, or DBU. You can also see the projected hours for the month, including the range of hours that are 3% above and 3% below the projected hours. As long as the actual hours entered are within this range, you will receive the projected amount for the month. To enter actual hours, click the Actuals tab. Click Add Actual Span. Add your spans at your desired frequency, weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly. Enter the start and end date for the span. You have 30 days after the end of the month to enter actual service hours for that month. Enter the total hours for the dates entered. Enter any competency hours, if applicable. Click Save. Click the plus sign to see actual hours you have just entered. You can edit or remove the entry. If you bill weekly or bi-weekly, you can click the MBS Excel file to download your billing file to submit in the EMBS application for payment. When you have entered the actual service hours for a month, under the Projected Costs tab, you will see the utilization status. In this case, the actual service hours were within the projected hour range, which is 3% above and 3% below the projected hours. As long as the actual hours entered are within this range, you will receive the projected amount for the month. If the actual service hours are below the projected range, you will receive an alert that shows the utilization percentage, the number of service hours that you are below, and a message stating that the DBU will be recalculated. The utilization status will show as below. When you click the plus sign to see the month detail, the adjusted DBU will show in red text. If the actual service hours are above the projected range, you will receive an alert that shows the utilization percentage, the number of service hours that you are above, and a message stating that you may contact your local County Board of Developmental Disabilities for an adjustment to the Cost Projection Tool, or CPT. In this case, when you view the month details, you will see the DBU has not been changed. The CPT has to be adjusted, finalized, and authorized before the changes will appear.